Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on acidizing as a wellbore stimulation method. And in this video, we will talk about sandstone matrix acidizing technique. And we will check some part of this paper. So we are now inside this review paper. The title of this paper is a preliminary screening and characterization of suitable acids for sandstone matrix acidizing technique, a comprehensive review. Okay, so it's very interesting paper. It's a really, really good paper, a comprehensive review. So if you want to know deeper about sandstone matrix acidizing, I recommend you highly to download and read this paper, okay? These are the authors, Mr. Leong Van Hong and Hisham Ben Mahmud, all right? Let's go ahead and this is the abstract, all right? Matrix acidizing is a broadly developed technique in sandstone stimulation to improve the permeability and porosity of a bottom hole well. And the most popular acid used is mud acid, which is HF and HCl, all right? The combination of HF and HCl. Okay, so HF is the hydrofluoric acid, this one. All right, you already know this. And HCl is hydrochloric acid, this one. This is really important. And talking about sandstone acidizing, we will handle minerals like feldspar, and this is the chemical name. All right, the dolomite siderite, chloride, right, the clay. All right, and let's go down. Okay, these are some of the acid. APCA, GLDA, and so on. All right, let's go down. All right, this figure is poor scale figure of matrix acidizing process when the acid is being injected and acid passes through the pore space. All right, this is the acid. And we have zone barrier here and there. And this is the zoom in picture. We have rock grains there, all right? And the acid passes through the pore space. All right, and this is the oil well stimulations acid stimulation on the left and acid or hydraulic fracturing on the right, all right? In acid stimulation, you can see acid mixture dissolves 36 inches or more of rock to increase oil flow. Whereas for acid fracturing and or hydraulic fracturing, acids and or other fluids injected under high pressure to fracture rock to increase oil flow all right this is easy to understand all right this is the mineralogy of a typical barrier sandstone all right so talking about sandstone of course we always have quartz the majority is of course quartz here in barrier sandstone the concentration is 75 percent in weight percent and this is the chemical formula SeO2, and usually we have feldspar, right? And we can also have clays like siderite and chloride, and also elite, or maybe kaolinite, right? And these are again the chemical formula. You don't need to remember this. And these are the things that I want to show you. The first main point is constituent of sandstone. So if we have sandstone, then these are the constituents. All right, let's start from quartz, feldspar, chert, and mica here as the rock grain, sandstone rock grain. All right, so remember that we will always have quartz and we also have feldspars, chert, and mica. And we also have secondary cement 
which is made of carbonate and also quartz. Okay, so this is important. And pore lining clays in this case is elite. Okay, so you can remember that it's important talking about sandstone acidizing, talking about mineralogy and also formation damage. We need to be familiar with these minerals, these clay minerals. Okay, and we also, beside pore lining clays, we also have pore filling clays. All right, in this case is kaolinite. And kaolinite can be troublesome. It can be the source of fine migration. All right, and fine migration can be the main cause of formation damage. So again, you need to distinguish between these two categories, pore lining clays, in this case, elite, and pore filling clays, in this case, kaolinite. And these constituents of sandstone all of which are soluble in our mud acid. And that's a good news. So we can actually dissolve this elite and kaolinite. Okay. Right. This is the main point that I want to show you. And the other thing is this table. This table is very, very important. Solubility of sandstone minerals. All right. So let's start from the first column. We have several minerals here. We have quartz, feldspar, mica, kaolinite, elite, smectite. Oh, smectite can also be troublesome. It can be the main cause of clay swelling. All right. And clay swelling can also be the cause of formation damage. All right. And also chloride, calcite, dolomite, anchorite, and siderite. All right, so let's check the solubility of these minerals against hydrochloric acid. All right, quartz, not soluble. Feldspar, not soluble. Mica, kaolinite, elite, smectite, not soluble in HCl solution. Chloride, low to moderate. Calcite, of course, this will have high solubility in hydrochloric acid. And also dolomite, all right? You can dissolve calcite and dolomite using HCl. That's why we usually use HCl as a pre-flush acid in tenstone acidizing, right? Later on, we will talk about that, all right, in the future videos. And anchorite and siderite also have high solubility against hydrochloric acid. Now, the main point is, of course, this one, the matte acid, the combination of hydrochloric acid and hydrofluoric acid, right? Because the main theme of this video is about sandstone acidizing. Okay, first, what about quartz? Unfortunately, very low solubility, but that's not a problem, right? Because we have a sandstone and the main component of sandstone is quartz then we don't actually need to dissolve quartz. All right, so that's okay. Feldspar and mica, low to moderate solubility against matte acid. And these are the good news. You can dissolve quite well, kaolinite, elite, smectite, chloride, right? Using the matte acid. Okay, so if you want to improve the injectivity or you want to stimulate your well bore which is in a sandstone reservoir then mud acid can be effective calcite high solubility but that's a danger if you use mud acid to dissolve calcite there will be a risk of this one caf2 precipitation which is not soluble inside the mud acid Okay, so please be careful if you want to perform sandstone acidizing, if you want to perform sandstone matrix acidizing and you have calcite in your sandstone, you need to dissolve the calcite using HCl in the pre-flush step. So you need to remove the calcite first, all right, using HCl acid in pre-flush stage, and then you continue with mud acid stage. And again, 
dolomite, anchorite, and cedrite also have high solubility against this mud acid. All right, so I think we can call it a day. That's all. These are the two main points that I want to show you from this paper. Okay, so that's all. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next matrix acidizing videos. Thank you.